Good morning, everyone. Welcome. I am Paula. And today I am starting my video in my closet. Um, I was going to go outside and film this morning and it is raining and cold out there today and windy and it's just one of those cold spring days in Michigan. But um, I thought I would come in here where it's quiet and just talk to you for a few minutes about what's going to happen in this video today. Um, today is going to be a vlog style video. I'm going to be sharing with you what me and Ed are eating throughout the day today on a low carb keto diet. And I'm also going to be um, talking about some things that are coming up that is really exciting. Um, I'll go ahead and do that now. I am going to be doing a challenge on YouTube for the month of May for fitness. And <clears throat> I'm really trying to increase my activity and it really helps me to stay accountable when I am, you know, saying I'm going to do this and I'm going to film it and, you know, this is how it's going to go. So um, I'm going to be doing a fitness challenge. I'm doing two challenges for the month of May. The fitness challenge is going to be here on YouTube and then dun, 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 I'm going to be doing a carnivore challenge for the month of May over on Patreon. Uh, the reason why I am doing the uh, carnivore over there is because it is a smaller knit community that I have over there. And anybody that wants to do the challenge with me, I'm able to help them with their macros. I'm also able to help them with any meal ideas. I try to do a video just about every day, um, five or six days a week over there. And um, it's really engaging. It's a great way to be a part of a challenge. And it is $10 for a month. If you want to join Patreon, you only have to pay the $10, sign up, do the challenge with me. And then at the end of the month, if you want, you can cancel it or you can just keep going. I have content over there all the time. In fact, we just are finishing up a challenge that we've been doing for three months over there. We started the challenge in February and then everybody was getting great results, wanted to continue through March. And then they're like, let's go ahead and do April. So for two and a half months now, because we're halfway through April, we have been doing a PSMF challenge. And if you don't know what that is, it's basically a weight loss tool that you can incorporate into your keto or carnivore diet. And you just take those days, one or two days a week, whatever you want to do, and you just lower your fat grams down really low those days. It's kind of hard because we all like to eat the fat, you know, but it really is wonderful. I have one lady that uh, was doing the challenge over there for March, I believe. She did it for one month and she ended up losing 10 inches. I'm just, I'm just blown away by her results. So since we've been doing that for almost three months, I decided it's going to be time for something different. And um, I talked about already over on Patreon about how I'm going to do carnivore. I will show you some meals on here when I do my like daily fitness challenge. I will be showing some of my meals in that just like I do with my vlog videos. I am going to be incorporating dairy because I love my cheese. I'm going to be incorporating spices. And a lot of people don't agree with spices in the carnivore lifestyle because they are from plants. I'm also going to be incorporating a little bit of stevia from my element drinks and from my protein powder that I use. So anyways, I will be doing the fitness challenge here and the carnivore challenge there. And then I will be mixing some of both into both platforms, if that makes sense. All right. And then um, I'm really excited about that. I want to get this last 15, maybe 20 pounds off of me and summer's coming and I want to give it the best I've got until, you know, June gets here and then we'll see what happens. I'm hoping that, you know, I'm down some more and that um, I am a little bit stronger. So um, anyways, another thing is supposed to be happening today that's pretty exciting. I am going to be filming a video with Serena the Carnivore. She has a channel. If you have not checked her out, she's awesome. She also is very active over on Instagram. And she messaged me and asked me if I would want to come on to her channel and just talk about all things low-carb, keto, carnivore, um, whatever kind of 
topics come up. And so that is supposed to be happening today. And I'm waiting to hear from her. And I'm excited about that. So I'm going to be doing that today, along with showing you what we're going to be having throughout the day. And then to top it off, the cherry on the top, I am going to have a couch coffee chat with Ed later on this evening, probably after dinner. Um, I have had so many people reaching out and asking me how Ed is doing, how he's doing um, after he lost his mom, and, you know, just how things are going uh, with his injury and all of that. And we appreciate people so much for just reaching out and asking about him. He's just been taking some time over the past couple of weeks. So tonight, He's going to be on with me and we're going to have some coffee and we're going to chat. So exciting video. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go into the kitchen and get something to eat. And I'm going to show you what I'm going to be eating today on a low carb diet. See you soon. What are we having for breakfast? Roast beef omelets. Roast beef omelets. We had um, yesterday... I made a pot roast in the slow cooker and we had a lot left over. Actually, I made two pot roast in the slow cooker. And Ed is frying that up with some onions and he's gonna put that in some omelets for us. Um, we have some provolone cheese we're gonna be using today. It and smells good. It does, it smells awesome. We like nice, healthy portions over here. <laughs> we ain't skimping. I'd say. I mean, really, we'll eat this omelet, and that carries us for yeah. hours. Um, yeah. I eat every bit of that, usually. Where we're usually saying right toward the end, too, we're usually like... So full. So full, but I'm going to finish it. But, you know, like you said, it does take us all the way to dinner time pretty yeah. much. Yeah, we'll have a little protein shake in between usually. Yeah. And that's about it. Maybe some pork rinds or a little snack if we get snacky. Look how nice that is. Mm, that looks delicious. All right, so I have a cup of coffee brewing over there and that's gonna be our first meal today. See you later. So we are out running some errands. We are going to town to pick up some supplies and we just stopped at our little local butcher and got some farm, <laughs> we got five dozen farm fresh eggs and um, I'm happy. Two bucks a dozen. Two dollars a dozen. It is a great deal and um, they are fresh. I got a picture of the chickens right here. I'll show you. Um, all right, so we're gonna go to town do a little running around, probably grab a coffee. I see a Tim Hortons in our future. Yep. And um, I'll check in later, see you soon. All right, so we are in Home Depot. We've got Sapphira with us. I love that they let dogs come in here. She looks forward to coming and getting treats from everybody and trying to keep up with Ed. We're looking for cabinet hinges, just in case you're wondering. <laughs> Yes, we did. We got our Tim Hortons. We are headed back home. And for dinner tonight, I decided I forgot to um, thaw something out for dinner tonight. So while I was, we were in town, I went to Aldi and I bought a few things. Very exciting news. The bread cheese, at least at my Aldi, is back in stock. Um, for those of you who got hooked on that bread cheese last summer, that cheese, it's a grilling cheese. Um, it melts really good and it's a great little side or a little snack. And Aldi only carries them seasonally. And my Aldi had them. So um, I bought a few packs and stocked up and um, decided that I would get some uh, ground chicken. And so I'm gonna be making ground chicken pizza crust tonight. We're gonna have pizza for dinner. And so when we get back to the house and I get set up to make dinner, I will, um, I'll make a pizza for you. All right, we'll see All you right. soon. So we are still on the way back. We have a, we're like what, 30 miles from town? 16, oh yeah, 
all the way uh, yeah so it's like way yeah it's like a half hour 40 minute drive so we're driving it's beautiful it's farmlands cows everywhere horses chickens, chickens and um so we decided right now we're gonna do our coffee chat instead of later since we're drinking coffee and I'm filming Ed's driving he can talk um, a lot of people have asked how Ed's doing and um, so we're gonna go ahead and talk about that yeah, I'm doing really good um, pretty good I can't walk for very long my leg gets to throbbing and swells up so very limited having a hard time with the stairs really hard and um, still using the bone growth stimulator he doesn't know this but um, right before this I just videoed you and the dog and I was walking around in Home Depot and he was driving on the little cart yeah, I can't I can't so walk that long it's the walking and standing on his foot for long periods of time is his no bueno. still swells and like you said, he has problems with stairs. Stairs suck. It's hard, very, very hard trying to climb any stairs. A couple of steps isn't too bad, but if it's a whole flight of stairs, yeah, it's hard. You have to have hang on with both hands and really pay attention to what I'm doing. A weakness. Yeah, it, it'll take some time. So I hope it goes away. It seems like it's kind of stalled out right now. So. I guess it's just gonna take time I don't know yeah so um, we just wanted to you know update and so people want to know things haven't really changed much we're just kind of in limbo still um, with with his healing and that and we won't know much until next week um, about how the, the bone stimulator is working so all right so that's our coffee couch chat but it's in the car <laughs> so, flying couch we're doing we're uh we're almost we're getting close to being home and i'm going to um make a pizza for dinner and when i get in the kitchen get that all set up i'll show you i've showed my pizza crust my uh chicken crust pizza before on here but um for those of you who may have missed that i'll show you how i make a pizza out of chicken for the crust it's you know, really funny. good it is really good what she makes and with that chicken crust you can't eat more than like two pieces of it so filling it's very filling it's like I, used protein. To, I used to be able to pound down five or six slices of pizza regular no pizza problem. oh yeah every time me too not this stuff it's all the protein and um when i've made pizza before with like um uh italian sausage or with ground beef and because it's greasy, um, it tastes good, but it doesn't firm up and dry out like the chicken breast crust does. It, it just, you can actually pick it up and eat it. It's like, it's a lot like a crust for, for it's heavy. yeah, but it's really, really filling. Very so good too. Yeah. So I'm going to make that when I get back home and I will, I'll show you how I make it and so we'll see that so i'm getting ready to make my pizza crust i'm going to be using one pound of ground chicken this is the chicken i got today from aldi i have one egg over here i have some garlic powder and some italian seasoning you can use whatever seasonings that you like and then in this bowl i have about one cup of um, shredded or grated actually this is kind of a mixture of uh, Parmesan cheese and I have my pizza pan right here I have my oven preheated to 425 degrees and what I do is I mix it together bake the crust I pre-bake the crust for about 20 minutes and then I pull it out of the oven and then I add my toppings and then I put it back in the oven and let it finish baking. So um, right now I'm just gonna throw this together and I'm gonna put one pound of the chicken into the Parmesan. I have the recipe for this over on my website, lowcarbrevelation.com. It is called Chicken Crust Pizza. 
and I'm gonna go ahead and put everything in here before I get my hands in here. I'm gonna just sprinkle in about a teaspoon or so of garlic powder. And then I have Italian seasoning. There's just a little bit left in here on the bottom. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and use this up. And one egg. Crack that in there. And then I'm just gonna use my hands to smash all of this together and get it well incorporated. And then I'm going to just press it into this pan that I have over here and get it in the oven. Pretty easy dinner. You can also um, pre-bake these crusts. I have done that and um, just wrap them up in freezer paper and freeze them in the freezer. And then when you want to have pizza on a busy weeknight, you just pull them out of the freezer and put the toppings on and bake them in the oven the rest of the way. It's a great meal prep um, food. And if you have the room in your freezer, it's great to have, you know, four or five of these stacked up in the freezer. And at any given time, you can have a pizza in just about a half an hour because once this goes in the oven and bakes, and then I take it out and put it back in the oven. It's in there for maybe 15, 20 minutes. It'll be a little longer, obviously, if the crust is frozen, but it would be a really quick dinner. All right, so I'm gonna switch these around and I'm just gonna pat this out into the shape of a pizza, round. And this is gonna go in the oven for 20 minutes and bake. Makes a really nice size pizza. Um, I'm not sure what size this pan is, but this is a nice size pizza for um, two people because like Ed was saying, this is very filling. And this for us is gonna be, we'll probably each have a couple of slices and then um, the rest can be put in the refrigerator for leftovers. And it's just great. It tastes great. It um, is very filling and it is protein packed. All right, I'll be back once this So bakes. I baked my pizza crust and realized that I didn't have any pasta sauce. So I ran to town. Our little town here is only about two miles away and I went to a Dollar General. It's called DG Market. It's brand new, just opened up in town. And I thought, man, how am I gonna get a low carb pasta sauce or pizza sauce at Dollar General? So I went in and I found a small jar of pizza sauce that is low carb. It was only like $1.85, I think it was. And it's a nice small jar. I'll probably end up using the whole thing on the pizza. But I was really happy about finding a low carb, low sugar pizza sauce at Dollar General. Um, so I am heading back to the house, me and my doggie. She goes with us pretty much anywhere we go around town up here. She loves going for her rides, but um, I am going to get back to the house. The pizza's already baked and it's on the stove top. So I'm gonna go back and throw the toppings on and put it in the oven. And I'll show you what it looks like when it's all so done. So here you can see that this pizza, because it is meat, it does shrink up. So you have to keep that in mind when you're making the pizza that you're gonna get some shrinkage. I actually have it on a separate um, pan because uh, I want to prevent it from spilling over into the oven. So it does shrink. This is the sauce that I found. It is Clover Valley pizza sauce. Pretty clean ingredient and um, let me get my glasses on here. Um, seven grams of carbs, which is pretty good. I'm not gonna, um, now that I look at this, this is 9.3 ounces. I'm probably only gonna use about half of this on this pizza and get that spread out. Hopefully it tastes good. 
And then I have over here on the side, in case you missed that, I didn't uh, film that actually. I have some Italian sausage and some onions that I uh, cooked up that I'm gonna put on here. And I also have some pepperoni that I grabbed from the Dollar General because I didn't have any pepperoni either. And so I'm gonna open up a packet of these pepperonis and get my meats ready. I have some cheese over here to the side and I'm gonna go ahead. I shredded this cheese myself um, off the block and I'm gonna put the cheese on. So everything's cooled down a little bit, but that's okay. All right, I'm gonna spread this um, Italian sausage out. And then I'm gonna put some of these pepperoni on here. These pepperoni, this is a Hormel brand. I probably would have opted for a different brand of pepperoni, but when you're in a small town and it's last minute, you gotta kinda use what you can get your hands on. Very greasy. Pepperonis. And my oven is still going. It's preheated to 425 degrees. And um, let's put some more pepperoni on there. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the oven and let it cook for uh, probably about 15 minutes until the cheese is nice and melted and bubbly. And we'll go ahead and have our nice dinner. So I'll see you in a little bit. All right, check it out. Pizza's done. I'm gonna pull it out, let it set for a couple of minutes, and then we're gonna try it out. Hey you, come get your pizza. What is that? Wow, I can't wait to eat it. Try it and let YouTube know how you like it because everybody wants to hear Ed's opinion about Because I tell foods. them how it is. Um, show the bottom of the crust too when you get a chance and like mm. lift it up. Nice cheese pull. <laughs> it's kind of hot because we just took it out of the oven, but Not bad. you can pick it up. It's delicious. I got a good life and a good <laughs> wife. You can, it's it's like dense, but you know, that's the way it is. But you can tell you can't eat more than two or three of these. No. It's awesome. It's like really so close to real pizza that kind of crazy. I like, I'm gonna close my mouth. I like that you can do the fold over. Mm hmm. Mm. I, I like the little pepperonis. It's so good with the Italian sausage. Mm hmm. Mm. I need a napkin. That, that's fabulous. Me one too. So, we're going to go ahead and close out this video mm -hmm. for the night. Good job. Thank you. I think this is going to be um, what we have. Mm -hmm. We may have um, a mug cake later on or something. Oh. If I got room. Sometimes in the evening, we um, like to have a little something sweet. Mm -hmm. And I will take a, um, I recent, and yesterday, don't do that. You can't think. <laughs> yesterday I did a short of a protein mug cake and it's just a little bit of butter, a scoop of protein powder and an egg scrambled up together put it in the microwave for 30, uh, 90 seconds, and you get a really delicious little mug cake, and we'll just put some little whipped topping on there that I make just out of heavy whipping cream, and it's delicious, so, um, but this, this pizza is so good. That's very good.
So, okay, time to eat. All right, cold. we're gonna go ahead and eat. Make sure you subscribe and give us a thumb. <laughs> it didn't. It didn't show up. He's trying, he's doing a thumbs up. Um, give us a thumbs up, and we will see you really soon. Have a great day, and as always, God bless.